Brother Michael. I know it's been a while since we've done a video, so just thought we would uh, put something together for you. As you heard the bell ring, it is a call to come back. I think we are to a point in time and in vaccination that we regather. The longer you stay away, the more it is easy to stay away. It's that habit of either coming to church or watching it. I understand there are times when you're going to be more comfortable watching rather than regathering. But as you often hear me say, if you have been with us for a while, church is not just about coming to worship. It's about gathering together as a people of faith to lift each other up, to help each other be the best that we can be, to help us grow in our faith. And it's not that you can't worship alone, but it's hard to be a community if you're not gathered as a community. So we'd love to see you come back to church, whichever service you choose to come to, whether it's Saturday evening or one of the two Sunday morning services. We need, a, we need to see your face. We need you to be present with us so that we will all be better in our community together. As we gather, I have said before, and I want to share with you now, it appears that if not all, almost all have been fully vaccinated. Uh, the ones that I know of that haven't been fully vaccinated are really close. It's important for us to be the leaders to show that this vaccine is something that we all need to do. We need to be leaders in showing the community that we believe in this vaccine, that we know that it will work to help us be safer. It will help us have a new normal. We may never go back to all the old practices that we used to have. I know that some people are still uncomfortable with hugs or handshakes. Um, it may take us a while to get back to that, and maybe for some they may never go back. But being present with each other is still possible. Yes, in our regathering, we are asking you to wear a mask when you come into the church and when you leave, when you come up for communion. But while you're sitting in the pews, being able to remove your mask really makes it as much a normal process as we can make it right now. Everything is not back to completely the way it was prior to the pandemic. And again, that may never happen, but at least we're getting closer. We are still singing with masks um, when we sing. As we know, many of our folks don't understand that you are to make a joyful noise. It doesn't matter whether you can carry a tune in a bucket or not. But we want you to sing, so we will ask you to wear your mask during that time. But come, be present with us. Help our community be all it can be. Don't continue to stay at home. It will only get easier to stay at home and harder to regather. Instead, come back. See what you're missing. See the old faces and the new faces. See what we're doing in the community. Help us regather to be the community we're called to be so that as we gather in church, we strengthen ourselves to go out and do the work that we're called to do, not in these four walls, but in our community, to be the people of faith, to truly walk the walk that Jesus has called us to walk which is to love our neighbor, not just as ourselves, but as Jesus loves us, remembering that we are all created in the image of God. So come, let us gather, let us practice our love for each other and our love for all those who we meet on the street or in the restaurants or wherever we find ourselves. I hope that this will be a calling back to you to say it is time to return and regather.